Oh, that is I am. Why don't you lead me to the rock? That is I am. That I shelter for me. Birds. Why, 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 why don't you lead me to the rock? That is I am. Why don't you lead me to the rock? I am. Why don't you lead me to the road that is higher than I? Amen. I think we will catch up with it as we go along. Amen. Thank you very much. We will look at the book of Romans, especially two verses for the whole uh, uh, period we are here. Yes. Yeah, the book of Romans. Let us just look at the two verses. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 24. It says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his what? By his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. All have sinned. Now, when we talk about sin, we are talking about the transgression of the law. The transgression of the law. And, uh, and uh, sin originated in, in heaven. You see, the Waldensians were people of the book. They were rooted, established, founded in the truth until they produced a revolution that we call Dark Ages. And they brought men like, uh, you know, the men, the greatest of the, those guys was Martin Luther. He is a product of the, the Waldensians. Amen? Yes. Yes. But all the guys, oh, John Knox, uh, you know, the, 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 we are John, John Wesley, and the like, they all were a byproduct of the joy of the Waldensians with the book. They, they, they never did um, read the Bible or prayed to produce missionaries. They enjoyed keeping the truth in those mountains. And in, in their joy brought forth missionaries who were persecuted but brought the truth and they exalted Christ in 1844. Amen, church. Yes. So, if ever we want to enjoy the, 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 the life of a Christian, enjoy the Bible. Everything will be a byproduct of your joy. Don't, don't read the Bible in order to teach other people or in order to do this. And uh -uh. Read the Bible to grow into it until you become the word made flesh. Yourself. You must be the word made flesh. And then all that will happen is a byproduct of your fellowship, relationship, belonging to the word of what? To the word of God. So that's all. So all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. When God created man, he created him in his what? In his image. He created male and female and blessed them. So God created us in his glory. David says, what is man? that you visit him. For you have created him lower than, yeah, the Greek does not say angels. They say he's lower than God. Yoshona says lower than God. Yeah, the vernacular says lower than God. It, we were not created lower than angels because we were created in the image of God, not image of angels. Angels are not in the image of God. They have their image. They are seraphims and cherubim cherubims, whatever, we call them six-winged, they are there. But they are not in the image of God. We are in the image of God. Whatever men may say, we came from this and that, uh, we, we, we will say yes. But it's lowering your value and lowering your estimate. God says he esteems you that you are in his what? In his image. You must be proud that you are in the, you are created in the image of God. You are created in the image of God. So God created us in his image 
David says, you honored him and you crowned him with what? With glory. And you put all things that you created under his authority. That's man. That's man. He was, he was created God. Yes. He was created God in the image of God. He was expressing God in, the, in this world. All creatures would see God in Adam and Eve. So we were created in the image of God. But because of sin, because of sin, we, we lost what we were not to be by God. Because of sin, we lost it. We lost it in Eden, in Genesis chapter 3. The whole story is narrated that we lost glory and we lost our home, Eden, and we became what we are today. And this is what we want to know throughout our presentations every morning. What really happened to us and what are we after God has done a great work to save us from sin unto righteousness. So, to the Bible, let's just check who we are. The Bible says we have sinned. All because of one man, sin entered the what? The world. And because of sin, death also entered the world. And death reigned over all. Because all have what? All have sinned. Because we have sinned. You see, the, the biggest problem with God to us is to make us realize how sinful we, we are. That's the biggest problem with God. And the biggest problem with us is to accept what God tells that, us that we are in this state. In this state. So I pray to God that we may understand what we are and what happened to us and what God's work is doing for us. You know, in order to appreciate what the Lord God has done for us in Jesus Christ, we must first understand our condition in Adam. Our condition in Adam. Then we'll understand our condition in Christ. Without knowing our condition in Adam, we cannot understand the work of the plan of redemption. And we will not appreciate it. We will not accept it. We will never want to apply it into our lives. Because we don't know why the Lord God is doing this for us. So, we need to understand really what happened when sin entered the world. It happened to us. This is what we are going to look at this, uh, this, this morning. Now, the Bible says, if I've, I've, I've quoted, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes, we want to talk about that. How, how sinful are we? The Bible says we have sinned and come short of the glory of God. How did we come to sin? The Bible is clear. Wherefore, as by one man sin, sin entered into the world, and the death by sin. So death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. We have all sinned. We, we acted sin in one man. We acted sin in one man. When Adam sinned, we all sinned. He did not sin for us, but we sinned. Are you listening to me? He did not sin for us. He, we sinned in Adam. He, as he sinned, we, I, I also sinned, you also sinned in Adam. And in that context, we were shaped. When we were created, we were created holy, innocent, and good in Adam. But when Adam sinned, we were all made sinners. Amen? Yes. The wages of sin is what? Is so where there is death, there is what? There is sin. Where there is no sin, there is, there is no death. This is why it is very important to learn how to overcome sin. Because sin is the root of what? Of death, yes. So if you say there is no sinless living, you are saying you are going to die. Because you continue in sin and the result of sin is death. So if you ever you overcome death, you must overcome sin. Amen? Yes. So you need to understand those things. 
that in order for us to overcome death, whether by resurrection or by translation, men must cease to sin. You must cease to sin. You must live a sinless life, a holy life in this sinful world. As Christ lived, so you ought to live. He came to set an example that men born of a woman in a sinful world, in a sinful with the help of the divine nature can overcome and condemn sin in the what? In the flesh and then overcome sin in the, in the world. You cannot overcome sin in the world when you cannot con first condemn it within. You must condemn it within yourself. Yeah. So the Bible tells us that because of this entrance of sin through one man, we all lost the glory of, of God. And because of that, sin, death reigned upon all of us. It passed on all men. Even where there was no law, there was death. Why? Because all have what? We have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, the Bible says uh, in 2 uh, in, in, uh, uh, Corinthians chapter 8, but I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. I'm going back to Genesis. Genesis, when Eve, in fact, when Adam and Eve were in the garden, they were living by the word of God. Quickly, when he took Adam into the Eden, into the Garden of Eden. He assigned him under the authority of his word. He just said, of all the trees in the garden, you may eat, including the tree of life. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not partake of it. So he was put under the authority of God's word. So, as they were living in the Garden of Eden, they were living according to the word of God. And Jesus says, men shall not live by what? By bread alone, but by, the, by every word that proceeded from the mouth of, of God. Yes, that's what Jesus was saying, telling the serpent, the, the devil, in the wilderness. So, when Adam and Eve sinned, they, they, they rebelled against God's word. Now, what is the word? What is word? Word in ex is an expression of an individual's thoughts, isn't it? Yes, you agree with me. Yes. As I am speaking, I am expressing myself. What I know. And what I know and what I express is what I am. Amen? Yes. If I am not a hypocrite. Because a hypocrite may say this and they leave the other thing. Yeah, that's a hypocrite. So, but really... We, when we talk of thoughts, we talk of words expressed. And the thoughts are the character, reveal the character of men. That's my character. So with that, we will say, Adam and Eve lived revealing the character of who? Of God through his word. We may even apply it to the second, second Adam. When he was born of the flesh, born of a woman. He lived on earth. He said, I will not act on my own will, but I will do as I see my father doing. I came from heaven not to do my will, but the will of him that sent me. My judgment is fair. My judgment is good. My judgment is just simply because I seek not my will, but the will of the father. Amen? Amen. And when he lived by the word of God, he expressed the life of God so much that when people looked at him, God was manifest in the flesh. Amen? How was he manifested in the flesh? By Jesus living according to the word of God. Nicodemus says, Rabbi, we know you come from God. Because no man can do such miracles as you do except God is, is with him. And John says, when we looked and beheld him, we saw 
in the word made flesh, the only begotten of the, of the Father, full of grace and, and truth. You know, my dear friends, it is easy to manifest the life of God. As it is easy to manifest the life of a prostitute, the life of a rapist, the life of a drunkard. Just to follow the ways of a drunkard and you'll be a drunkard. Follow the ways of a prostitute and you'll be a prostitute. Follow the teachings of a doctor and you'll be a, a, a physician. Follow the teachings of a teacher and you'll be a teacher. Follow the teachings of a preacher and you'll be a preacher. Expressing. This is what we are told here. So when Adam and Eve, who were living by the thoughts of God, expressing the glory of God, forsook the word of God and accepted the word of the serpent, the word of the serpent, they became the serpent in expression. They believed and they accepted the thoughts of the serpent and they expressed the, the desire and the will of the serpent. And their character became the character of the serpent. They became the character of the serpent. They were no longer anything because they have forsook the character of God and incoming is the character of, of the serpent. This is why Jesus said, Oh, you are of the what? Of the devil. You are now of the devil. You are not of God, but you are of the devil. Why? Because you are devil incarnate through accepting the words of the serpent. Amen, church. So, in the Bible, we are told here that when Adam and Eve sinned, they rebelled against God. And they left God's order and believed in themselves. Now, what happened when Adam listened to the voice of the wife? Now, the Bible says here, all men have sinned and they come short of the glory of God. We sinned in who? In Adam. We were created right. We were created innocent. We were there in innocence in Eden. But also we lost it where? In Eden. Where we were when Adam was in Eden. Now, there is an illustration that Paul gives us in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 9 and 10. That say, we may, Levi who receives tithe, we may say he also gave tithe. When Adam met who? The time when Adam met Melchizedek. Yeah, Abraham met, met, met who? Melchizedek. When he was coming back from his victory over the, the, the Canaanite kings. You know, and he says, how could Levi give Tithe. Now, Levi, stand up, my brother, stand up, my pianist, can you come right here? Now, we, for the four of us, yes. I must also be in the illustration because I'm also part of you. Okay, who is, um, I think he can be the youngest yeah. Yeah. of us all. Yeah, he might be the youngest. Yeah, you can go at the end there. He is the Levite now, he is Levi. Yes, in this order. So, Levi. The Bible says, we may say, Levi who receives tithe also gave tithe. Adam met Melech, Abraham met Melchizedek as he was coming back from the war where he got victory over eight kings. So, now we say, Levi gave tithe. Here is Levi. Levi is the son of who, who is the father to, to Levi? Jacob. Yes, Jacob. And uh, the Bible says he gave tithe when Abraham met Melchizedek. For he was where? In, in who? Abraham where? In his what? In his loins. Amen? So Levi was there in the loins of, of Abraham. So as he was in the loins of Abraham, he Abraham did not give tithe for Levi. No. Levi gave. Levi acted giving. When Abraham gave tithe, God saw Levi tithing. When your father as a young boy committed 
committed adultery. He saw you as an adulterer. See that you told me, my sister, as long as I in the history of your father and mother, they are adulterers, you are an adulterer. Go in your kitchen and touch it. So when Adam sinned, he saw not only Adam, you and me sinning. Are you listening to me? Yes, you need to understand these things. You need to be rooted, established, defined. When he's of rebellious children, he's not talking about those in the street, he's talking to me. Romans is not talking about sinners in the world. Romans is talking about the system that happened in, in, in Eden through the disobedience of one man, Adam. So, if, if Levi gave tithe in the loins of Abraham, it, say, it also means Jacob what? Gave tithe. It also say, means Isaac gave tithe. It's Abraham in action with all his posterity in action. Because what I give to Isaac is not anything but my life. It's a continuity of my life. Are you listening to me? It's a continuity of life. The life that I lived is I am putting it with all its negatives and the positives upon Isaac. This is why when Abraham lied that Sarah is not my wife, I deposited that type of life on Isaac and Isaac also lied. That Rebecca is not my wife. Because of accumulation of lies, also Jacob was born a great liar and a deceiver. When Abraham married Hagar, a servant, Jacob multiplied to Kulia and a servant, Rachel and a servant. It's a life past. And when he passed it upon Levi, Levin did not only do sin, he also murdered. The accumulation of sin, it's a continuous life from Adam to the last child to be born. Everything that was in Adam has been deposited to the last child that is born on earth. Amen, church. So when Adam sinned, when Adam sinned, all these children sinned in him. Amen? All the posterity. We, it's a cooperate sinning. Remember, we are created innocent in Adam. But we were corrupted also in, in Adam. When Adam sinned, we were, we were corrupted. They call it uh, transmu. Transmutation, a changing of nature. But the glory of God. Now I want to go to the verse in Psalm chapter 51, verse 5, where David says, Now behold, I was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me now conceive when you conceive is the period when the uh, the egg of the woman is fertilized by the seed of the husband so i said wife and husband not girl and boy the, the, that's where we differ oh yes that's fine let me leave those things alone <laughs> Let, let's come to these things so, so David says, it is right when my father, my mother conceived me, conceived me. She conceived me in what? In sin. But first I was what? Shaped in iniquity. First I was shaped in iniquity. Who shaped 
us into iniquity. Is it if? No. In if. We inherit that. But the shaping in sin is in Adam. In whom we were. We were all in him. Innocent, lovely, righteous, good, and pure. But when he listened, and God said, and to the man he said, because you have listened to the what? Voice of your wife. And at the tree that I told you that you should not eat thereof. Therefore, cursed is the one is the earth. He was cursed, you and me. When he was cursed, you and me we were cursed. We were cursed in Adam. And that's where we were shaped because of the disobedience of one. Many were made sinners. In that disobedience, we were made sinners. In the loins of Adam. We acted sin. Amen? Yes. This is what we are. And we need to understand these things so that we can appreciate the deliverance from sin unto righteousness. Amen? Yes. The deliverance of, from sin unto righteousness. So the Bible is clear. It, what David says, I was shaped in iniquity. And I cannot do anything but what? I can only act being iniquitous. Amen? Now, this word iniquity, the word iniquity itself, it means an unjust act. An unjust act. Can you justify the act of Eve? Can you justify the act of Adam? To forsake God's word and listen to his wife. Can you justify him? You can't. You can't. He lost it. And when you talk of iniquity, you are talking of the absence of the absence of uh, moral and the spiritual values. An iniquitous person does not value spiritual things. And the Bible says the natural man cannot what? Receive the things of the spirit of God. Why? Because they are foolishness to him. For he can understand them because they are spiritually descent. So when Adam and Eve sinned, they lost spiritual and the moral values. And that is multiplied until we come to this point. We are worse than the beginning. We have lost sense of moral and spiritual values. It's a so kuona kwani kwangu and you know we we see with a corrupt mind. Do you know that? Yeah. We use our corrupt minds to reason. Do you know even when you graduate you are graduating with a, a, a corrupt mind. Men born of a woman or that which is born of what? Of the flesh is flesh. Flesh no matter how educated, no matter how cultured, no matter how in no matter how excellent it might be, flesh is flesh. It cannot inherit the things of God. For they are foolishness. They are valueless. They are valueless. And because of that, since Adam and Eve sinned, what happened to us? We were separated from God and became bondage to the devil. In Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither is ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities, amen church, your what? Your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Now, 
our iniquities, your iniquities have separated you from, from God. Now, separation from God, we were separated by one man's disobedience. Sin entered by one man's what? Disobedience. And we were what? Separated. We became aliens of God. We lost the life, life of God. You know, when Adam and Eve were created, they were created with the life of God resident within them. But when they turned their back and they rebelled against God, they lost the life of God. And we became iniquitous. We became iniquitous. And this word iniquity, we find it originating in heaven. The Bible said, chapter 28, uh, Ezekiel, it says, uh, you were perfect. You were a cherub, a cherub, a covering cherub. You were perfect in the day that you were created. Till what? Was found, was found in you. Uh, until iniquity was found, he was right at the throne of God in the most holy place, Lucifer. And in that most holy place, iniquity was found in, in him. Iniquity. And then because of iniquity, he was cast out of what? Out of heaven. And when he came in Eden, what did he do? He corrupted Adam and Eve. And they also became iniquity. Iniquity was found also in Adam and, and Eve. And the glory to God. We will speak about that one. But let me just give you a hint on that one. Isaiah said, the iniquity in Satan, the iniquity in Adam and Eve, the iniquity in the race of Adam and Eve was laid upon Jesus Christ. Amen says, yeah, that's salvation now. That's salvation. Yeah. That's how God came down on earth to bear our burdens. Amen. Cast your care on Jesus today. Leave your worry and fear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Burdens dead at Calvary. Calvary. Amen, church. Now, let's turn to the spirit of prophecy, SOP, to qualify all that we have been discussing. Manuscript 39, 1894. Through yielding to satanic influences, Adam and Eve, who were created in the image of God, were formed to honor God and glorify their creator became the inhabitation of dragons. And Satan saw in the apostate race his masterpiece of evil, man reflecting his own image. When Adam and Eve sinned, when they turned their back on God, when they accepted the counsel of the serpent, they became inhabitations of dragons. Satan saw in the apostate race in Adam and Eve a masterpiece of himself. Himself being reflected in Adam and where God is supposed to be reflected. What is being reflected? And what are their children? Children of perdition reflecting the image of the devil. And from Cain Everything is the image of the devil. Thank God who loves to keep devils, give them food, clothes, education, 
What a great God. He say, if he says love your enemy, he's number one lover. Who can keep bastards? Another quotation, Deserve of Ages, page 161, paragraph 1. Because of sin, humanity ceased to be a temple of God. It became a temple of the devil. This is why he's dominating us. Darkened and defiled by evil. But I fear, lost by any means, as Eve was beguiled by what? By the serpent. That lest also your minds might be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. So, in Adam and Eve, their mind was darkened and defiled by evil. The heart of men no longer revealed the glory of the divine one but the glory of the evil one. The man, no man can of himself cast out the evil throng that have taken possession of the heart. No matter how you try, you can never deliver yourself. Something must be done from outside to save mankind. Amen, church? Amen. That's good. Please take these quotations, reflecting Christ, reflecting Christ, page 51, paragraph 5. When Adam and Adam sinned, men from the heavenly ordained center. When Adam sinned, he broke away from the heavenly ordained center and he left it together with, with us in his what? In his loins. And we were born outside of God. We are no longer of God, but we are of the devil. Yes, a demon became the central power in him. Where God's throne should have been, Satan placed his throne. I, I love one, 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 nine, the third paragraph, the third, third uh, stanza, or uh, second, I, 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 I need to be corrected there. But it says, when Christ has come into our life, I rise to walk in heaven's own light. Ah! Above the world and seed with heart made new and garments white and Christ enthroned with thee. So there must come a time in your life when Christ is exalted, enthroned again. Because in Eden he was dethroned. But at the cross, the devil was dethroned. Christ was exalted. Amen, church. Yeah. That's the gospel of the kingdom. If you say, go in therefore, preach the gospel and this gospel of the kingdom. What is the gospel of the kingdom? God in men. God in men. That's the gospel of the kingdom. When man is now a king, a true king, and we are in the kingdom of grace. Amen, church. Uh, that's reflecting Christ. And uh, yes, Adam and Eve broke. Where God is throne was, where has been, Satan placed his what? His own throne. Another quotation. When men listened to the devil and they rebelled against God, he rendered an eternal no to God's will and an abiding yes to Satan's will. You are of your father, the devil, because his will you are willing to, to do. And you don't want to do the will of the father. When Adam sinned, he closed his ears to God and said, I don't want to hear about you and your life away from me. Welcome, stand up. Welcome, sweet love of mine, the devil. that he did. That's our situation, my dear friends. That's our situation. You need to understand these things. In order to appreciate what the Lord God has done for us through Jesus Christ. You need to understand. Don't ever because you have to understand that 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 you have to
you are a devil. Regardless of how many people can humiliate and praise you, you are a devil. God is not worried about what we do. He's worried about our being. Our being. Especially those who are born in the church. So, his volition fell captive to the devil. He cannot do otherwise except that which the devil wills him to do. Therefore, all his acts are governed by the will of Satan. Until he overcomes his any subjection, man's will remains unquestionably oppressed by the power of Satan. So a day must come, a better day. Uh, they sing, a better day is coming. Anyway, let's leave songs alone. Men, when men transgressed, direct control says page 505, paragraph 2. When man transgressed the divine law, his nature became evil, and he was in harmony and not in variance with Satan. Amen. Amen. This is why Christ came to adopt us so that we come back to be called children of, of God. They exist naturally. No enmity between sinful men and the originator of sin. Both became evil through apostasy. Satan apostatized in heaven and we also apostatize on earth. And we are one. We are in a posted rest with our God, Lucifer, Satan. Now we close. I want you to understand these things, my dear friends. This morning, I just want to reveal to you what really happened when Adam and Eve sinned. So that we can come to appreciate what God in Christ did for us. In the beginning, now this is the general conference bulletin, April 9, page 146, paragraph 1. Now it says, in the beginning, Satan, who is the accuser of the brethren, tried to defeat God's plan to establish a kingdom with men as a ruler. God wants to establish a kingdom with men as a ruler. But the accuser of the dead brethren tried also to defeat it. And he seemingly succeeded when he defeated Adam and Eve. Amen? He, 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 he did not completely, but he damaged it. He seemingly, he damaged it. Now, he accuses the brethren to the Lord. He says to God, you cannot make a man that can stand loyal to you and your kingdom. But I can set up my kingdom in spite of you. And he did so. He did. Because, and God couldn't say, no, I can create a man who can stand loyal to me. Because already Adam and Eve, what? They failed. So heavenly beings were aghast. Said, ah. So Right or wrong. 
The two thirds remained neutral. They could not take sides completely. Though they remained on God's side, but still they were doubting the justice of God and the accusations of Lucifer to God. They could not. And here he is holding Adam and Eve, loving each other, wrapping it together until he said, people, if we want to do something for this race, let's put enmity between them. This love that they have one to another, Adam, Satan, and Eve, is serious. So, let's put enmity between them. Amen, church. Is God is loving and a God of love. Gracious Lord. He intervened in order to save us. Amen, church. Yes. So, he did that and uh, he almost succeeded, seemingly. But, listen, God said, I will take on this paragraph now, I want you to take note of what we were talking about and accept it so that you can accept the work of God in redeeming us through Jesus Christ. The Bible says, the bulletin says, God said to Satan, I will take this the best men, this fallen, degraded men that you have wrote your will in. Eh? Come on. I will take what? Number one, a debased what? Person. Fallen what? Men. A degraded man. Debased, fallen, degraded. As if it's not enough. Your God is saying it. The man you have wrote your will in. Where is the will of Satan? In us. And God says, you, even as you see me, your will is of the devil. Unless you repent. Yes. When you have repented, then your will is the will of God. That, that is when you have truly repented. Because there are many proforms here. A proform is a receipt that says you have these things, but you cannot claim them to be yours. You are like a branch which is in the vine, but bearing no fruits. The man you have wrote your will in, God says, I will take him and in his sinful flesh, I will demonstrate the fact that he can be a king. Amen, church. I, I love that. I, I understand this because I am a victim of this statement. To me, the will of the devil was my natural inclination. I was a general of generals in his field. When he lost me because of the cross, he lost a general. And he knows that. He wished he could have, could have, if I could have died. And the fact that I died to his kingdom and I'm alive in Christ's kingdom, he does not rest until he catches up with me. Unfortunately, my life is hid. Christ. Amen. That's his unfortunate part. Had I left it naked, I could have died. And God says, I will take Festus in his sinful flesh. I will demonstrate to you Lucifer, Satan, the serpent, the dragon, the devil, that he can be a king. and judge you. I will use men not simply as he was in the beginning before sin, but I will use that fallen, that degraded speck of humanity. Oh man. Oh man. 
Kaumani vanangu achimwe chiri kuti siya nini nacho ichi uyai kuma uye kusha kwenu kwa indi chatora uyo vakoma na vaviri vavo shamwa down to Singapore chizivikana vano dziva icho chocho kwawe icho ikaita uri chokwedu uhuise mwanangu zvikanzi ndi chatora munhu kwete sezvakasikwa akaita uko ari kutsene muna Adam ndoda kumutora aputsika ari muchimiro chechibi wamuita dende ava rahabu chifede a kudla nenguruve wainda kwa unoda kunosvika naye ndio pandi chano mutorera avo wapedza naye ndigo mutora ndigo mugadzira ndigo mumisa pamberi pako so ndikuratidze kuti anogona kuva mambo wako that's the plan of redemption saka achiti kwatiri even though your sins are as red as a scarlet even though the devil has corrupted you kunosvika paono zviti i kuti mwarucha ndidaone come let us reason together i know your state i know it more than you know it you, it could have been worse ndakato kudzivirira uri muchiri vano vafunga kuti mwarino tichenge tatatende uka that's rotten cotton block that's out of context god keeps us even before we are repented otherwise they did not put that protection the devil will kill us tatende uka kuchenge tona mwari no 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 that's a wrong statement takachengetwa pola chivuraya vanhu achipedza zvikainana nesi i cannot meet him he is destroying us he is killing the people of the way and god say i knew him even before he was in the womb of me and his mother that is going to be my apostle rahab was known before she was born that she was going to be a missionary girl Are you listening to me? He loves us. The Bible, what does the Bible say? When we were sinners, when we were ungodly, when we were powerless, when we were enemies to God, Christ did what? Died for us. He loved us while we were sinners. Oh, the height of Jesus. Haya the heavens are deep Pada the deep sea Sting and zitenity Love that found me one last love Wow. Amen church. Hey. I I love it. Yeah, that was great. The pianist is a great man. Yeah. Yeah. You know in Ndebele, don't sing Shona or English. Just listen to Ndebele. No, the Ndebele can sing. Was my mother was in Ndebele. No. Dutando wenkosi he zulu pagemelu ulwa lu wa Isusa isona Uyali zoeli zika kunukunu Kutwa wangi zuza nienzani misona in the act He waited you can finish my daughter my son I'm still waiting for you. I'm still waiting for you. Finish up. Then I'll take you to be my own. Rwangi suza misona ngangi ngamdingi ngangile ngile ngile ngila ndaba naye. 
To me, he is useless. God is useless. He's nothing. But he loved me. That he loved me. My dear friends, our situation in Adam, we can spend the whole week explaining it, but we cannot reverse it. But we, let's come to this other side where we can enjoy God who says, even though your sins are as red as scarlet, come. Even they are as crimson, come. Come. I'll make them white as snow. I'll make them white as who? Amen, church. How many would say, Lord, I come. Regardless of what I am. Regardless of the devil has done in my life. Regardless of my parentage. You have made a call. You said, come. I have. This week, during this week, may I be transformed. May I come to that image higher than the highest human thought can reach. Is God's idea for us, his children. Godliness and God-likeness is the goal that he has set before us. Those who say, Lord, during this convention, may your spirit speak to me. I leave this place. I leave it with the mind of Jesus. May you stand up and we pray. Kind and heavenly Father, as we stand before the throne of grace. We pray that you pour upon us your Holy Spirit in abundance without measure. Give us that spirit of revelation so that we may see ourselves as you see us. That we may appreciate what you did through our beloved Savior Jesus Christ. That we may know ourselves we are known by God. That we may accept the good news, the work that you have done to save us from sin and to righteousness. To deliver us from darkness into the kingdom and transfer us into the kingdom of your beloved son. That we may be made children of light. We pray this morning that throughout the days that we are here, May we hear you speaking to us in lessons, in sermons, even in everything that we do. May your presence be among us so that when we leave this place, we live with your presence in just wherever we go so that there may be a distinction between the worldly and those that are heavenly. We thank you in the name of our precious Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Good morning once again, church. Good morning. How many were blessed by this presentation? I want to thank God for that. Uh, I'm going to give uh, the authorities uh, their time for announcement. Thank you very much. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm here to give you our, our marching orders from here where we are going. So I'm going to give you a few announcements that we, that we have. Maybe for... Uh, for a start, if you see anyone with a tag like this, with a red tag, I mean a red, um, this thing. You see anyone with a red, uh, this thing, and so what you're going to 